Well, hey there. This is just a short video to let you know that my first Photoshop course of 2021, The Complete Guide to Smart Object Techniques, is finally done. I can only get about three courses produced in any given year, so it's always a big day for me when I manage to get one finished. Smart objects in Photoshop have been around since 2005, and they make appearances in many of the techniques that I teach in my courses. But I realized that there was a need for a full course on them specifically for landscape and nature photographers. So that's what this course is. Smart objects can do sophisticated image adjustments that I think have gone untapped by even some of the most experienced Photoshop users. My friend Tony Kuiper summed up this course by saying, the techniques will take you into parts of Photoshop that you never knew existed and then show you how to do things you never imagined. Perhaps the thing people are most likely to know about smart objects is that they can turn destructive Photoshop filters into non-destructive smart filters. Just this alone makes them an essential tool, but their uses go far beyond smart filters. Like what, you might be wondering? Well, they make it possible to avoid destructively flattening or merging your layers. They provide the most powerful and flawless ways to do exposure blending, even for the three most difficult blending situations, which I think are trees against the sky, spotlighting in dark forests, and architectural interiors. They give you more options and control over soft light blurs, commonly known as the Orton effect. They allow you to maintain your raw image data throughout your entire Photoshop workflow. And this means that you can now combine Lightroom raw adjustments with Photoshop tools, selections, and even luminosity masks. This allows you to do things like raw level color grading, raw level noise reduction, raw texture and clarity control, dehaze cloud sculpting, and raw level light painting, just to name a few. You can also do complex perspective adjustments without needing to flatten your layers and masks. I even figured out a way that you can non-destructively clone or heal right on a smart object, which technically isn't supposed to be possible. And these are only a few of the techniques included. I never realized just how many ways I use smart objects until I began compiling them together for this course. What I thought would be a fairly short set of tutorials became a much bigger project on the same level as my Luminosity Mass Masterclass. I'm really excited to be able to share these techniques with you. So if you want to find out more, you can go to my website for more information and a complete list of all the techniques and chapters. And I'm very proud to say that Tony Kuiper is also offering this course on his website, so you can get it there too. Through March, there's a 20% discount available. And as always, to say thanks to previous customers, a special discount has been sent. So check your inbox for that. I hope you enjoy the course because I worked really hard on it all winter. So as always, take care and I look forward to seeing you again soon.